Hey every Star Wars fan and everyone else. May the fourth be with you, I'm Double Earth Angel and welcome to my channel. In this week's tutorial video, I will make a photorealistic Bad Batch poster. Still, I decided that I am gonna make this a tutorial because there was a lot of so-called photo bashing in this. Photo bashing means that you make something of a lot of photos that you put together and using blending methods you then get the result that it looks like an original. Whatever you are photo bashing. You can photo bash basically anything. Anyway, for this May the 4th tutorial I will teach my versions how I make photo bashes. What there is to think about before you start the actual photo bash and different techniques how I do it. And of course the speed art of the bad batch poster. Anyway, if you like this kind of videos don't forget to give it a like. If you're new to this channel also subscribe, ring that bell for new videos to come and let's begin the tutorial. <laughs> Okay, so in this photo bash tutorial, I will start by making a background and usually when I photo bash, what it means is using lots and lots of different stocks that put together with different kind of techniques. We could start this tutorial off by adding a solid color. By using these, the options of these three adjustment layers, solid color, gradient or pattern, the solid color, we're using that and make it totally black. And then we add this kind of stars thingy above and uh, by using soft brown brush on the layer mask, we take away some of this. Then we have this next layer where I have this Milky Way kind of picture where I will bring up this uh, the light source here in, in this corner and give some stars back to the background. We could change this layer option to lighter color maybe better. And in the blend if I'm gonna take away the black from it, not too much. Something like that. When I photo bash, my best friends are layer masks, blend if in the blending options, 3D assets and content aware fill and the cloning stamp tool. These are the ones that I use the most. So for example, now we have this yellow kind of galaxies far away, but I think they, they are making this picture a little noisy. So I am gonna Mark with the pen tool around this area where these yellow kind of areas are and then in the path options take the work path and keep control key down as we press on it and select this and then edit and content aware fill. Now what this does is it fills out the area that I just picked out with the help of the surrounding pixels and tries to match the pix pixels as good as it can. And, and I'm actually gonna use the clone tool, make it quite big and press over here with the alt key and then paint in softer edge. I also want a little more stars in this black area. So let's do the same thing with the clone tool here. And now I have basically made new background from two or three pictures. So that's my first photo bash. Okay, so next up we are making a space station. It will be this middle ground kind of thing. And I am using stock from Envato Elements. Now you can find a affiliate link to Envato Elements in the description down below. Okay, so next up I want a space station kind of thing here in the middle. 
and we're gonna use 3D objects to make it. Let's add this landing pad in a folder. We're gonna jump to Envato Elements. I have this list of lots of stock that we are gonna use and we're gonna begin with this sci-fi door over here and here we have this 360 render and we're gonna press and then we're gonna use the stock in the desired kind of angle now as a png i'm gonna download this one so i'm gonna use that to start building this space station now i will do this in a time lapse because it will take quite some time to get all the assets but what i'm actually doing is taking these assets like i just showed from envato elements 3d side and making them the desired angle that i want for this specific artwork so be right back i I want this to change this actual stock picture to look as much as my own creation as possible and less of the original stock. However, if I find that there's something in it that I want to keep, like this hatch over here, for example, looks Star Warsy, and also these lights over here, they also look Star Warsy. And for now, let's keep it like this. I found these nice looking turrets could go over here pretty good and um, so I'm gonna place this like outside of the picture. I'm gonna use the bottom part of this one. Using the pen tool I'm gonna mask away the top part of this one. After I've made a path with the pen tool I'm gonna make the selection and then just mask away, invert the mask so it brings back the foot of this. Now I also have a turret that is in another angle and what I'm gonna do is bring this opacity down so that I can see the lower layer and bring this foot of the turret on a place. First of all I'm gonna take away this foot totally from this side. So we're doing the same thing with the pen tool. Now this doesn't look good. We make this a smart object first, convert it to a smart object, keep the lower one as is. Scale it down a bit, like that, and bring it down so that it fits. We have this part over here that needs filling, and I'm just gonna take from this other side. So, using the stock that we already have, I'm gonna mar mark out the whole part of this back side of this gun. And we can see these rivets here, there are two of those, there are these two, so let's take those with us. Make the selection and by holding the control key and pressing J, we copy this element. And then we bring it behind the turret and by holding shift key and pressing the arrow, I'm moving this now only horizontally. And we can bring this behind every layer. Now. When you rotate, you can have your cursor over this indicator here in the middle. And when these, there are these arrows, four arrows, when they appear, you can move this where the point is where it will rotate. So I will keep it here somewhere where we want it to be. And then we rotate the stock image so it fits with the rest. And now I'm gonna mask it away. So next up, I want this part over here to fit with the turrets part that is already there. <clears throat> this part over here. And we are doing that by distorting the image. I will use the polygon lasso tool to mark this area right here. Content aware fill it with nothing else than the shadowy area behind. Until you get the desired result being uh, of pixels. The shade is not that important yet because we are anyway gonna add shadows to this later on to get it to blend even better together. And now we can make it a little bigger than 
the actual area of it so and make it so it it looks like it's supposed to be there masking out from the top layer to make it more subtle and now i want to match the color here so what we're gonna do is bring all of this together as a smart object and it's this part over here right I'm gonna bring it down with brightness so it matches this color over here so it looks like it's part of it and this part is in the shadows so it's also supposed to be a little darker but we're gonna mask off a little from it also now I'm just trying to match the color as much as possible now we could hand paint also a little more to get it even better so I'm holding alt key and picking a color from here and then just hand paint above everything like so and then we're gonna play around with the blend if to get it to look better now I feel that I'm this part over here is not quite good so I'm masking it off instead of deleting the pixels because then we're not destroying anything so now the main thing when photo bashing something is to make it look as natural as possible so we have these uh, seams over here that are crossing that aren't fitting and so on so I'm I'm gonna fix this but I'm gonna fix it in a time lapse main rule when photo bashing is to see that everything fits now I used the warp tool to bring the seam together but I made it also forcibly a little bigger than the layer that is above and the reason why is because we're gonna blend it together with the layer mask by making it a little bigger than the one above we can now take away some from it and still have pixels and make it look like it always looked like that now one thing to remember is when we make the edges we use a hard brush and it's always easier to make something look better when you have something that is too big and make it con more concise like this one for example we are masking away and this is a better example we have this bottom layer over here this is far too much so I'm gonna take it away with a hard brush just take away parts of it and I'm trying to match this part over here on this side so it's like in this we have this little angle over here and this is too sharp so I'm gonna mask it off but now we use again a soft brush in the layer above like so this is just the foundation of the actual part that we are bashing together so we're trying to make it look as refined as possible but then with highlights and shadows and overlays and brushes we can make it look even better and for now I'm not gonna worry about the color of this one at all okay and when I'm done with the actual part that I have bashed together I make it a smart object and I save this smart object in this you can't save the layers as is because then it won't change the smart object it, Photoshop doesn't know what it's doing so now when we go back to this poster part we have this turret over here and it faces this way but also up and the lower part is now much more in harmony with the rest and when I put it behind these platforms it looks like almost at least looks like it's part of this picture now of course I have to change the colors of overall colors of it some textures of it and make highlights and shadows and so on but as the bashing for the bashing part we are done with this one I will do the other turret as well but I will do this in a f in a time lapse because otherwise this video will be far too long So next up we have these two reds and they are beige about or some warm grey and then we have these uh, foundations and they are more of a dark grey. Now I know that these won't be uh, used totally so this does not matter. We don't need to focus on this part that is not blended in because it won't be 
seen in the in the picture so that would be work that would be wasted but what does matter is are these two turrets uh, this landing bridge kind of thing on whatever platform this is mm, base foundation for the turrets i think they look already kind of star warsy we need to make the rest of it also however i can't keep this looking like this i think because so i will use texture that i know that i have so let's start by making making this a full scene by adding metal texture i need some rough metal kind of textures so i'm gonna bring these textures to photoshop just to show you guys what i'm using so this is gonna be the overall metal texture some metal that is very worn out and then i also have this side kind of texture that i'm gonna make a custom texture by copying this layer by control uh, by pressing control J I'm gonna make this a con convert it to a smart object and we have a custom texture over here so these are the two that I'm gonna use then I'm gonna see if I find yet another grungy metal texture so what is what's important to remember when having textures are that they are high resolution documents so we, we stay in in this document and i'm gonna copy it right over here and now i am gonna use it on this area over here that area over there and this and that so that's one two three four so we need four of these okay so now when we are done with this first part i am gonna mask away from these that are going obviously over what we want so i'm gonna use this other texture that we have okay i can show you so the one underneath so the first one the grungy one let's use that and this one i am actually gonna put in a plane uh, that is overall so that it satisfies the eyes we don't need to set extra extra uh, roughness on every single bit in this picture we can do it just by making it a plane about so how to get a force perspective and that's what I'm doing now so even though it looks pretty much like nothing we're not going to clip it to the overall picture like so it still doesn't look like anything now we're gonna blend if so blending options blend if now we're gonna take away lots of the black pixels but also from the white pixels so we're gonna blend it so that it looks somewhat like edges are worn but not much else so what i'm see checking now is this part right here i want this to look good but now the turrets does, don't look good, right? That's why we have the last texture. Anyway, now I'm gonna mask this fully, like so. And then we are bringing it, the mask back on random places with a round brush or a grunge brush. And I'm gonna use a grunge brush. So these grunge brushes that I use, artistic grunge named you can find them on freepick.com. I will put a link for this also in the description. Okay, and last but definitely not least, we're gonna add the last texture that was this clean metal plate texture or something. So I'm gonna bring this one also over here. These we are using in a quarterly fashion. We are gonna make them. I am gonna use three of these per turret. And why that is, is because we want one that looks somewhat like this. And then we want the second one for the other side and one above. By copy pasting the layer styles to all of these, we have the same style. Now I have changed the turret totally, but it still doesn't look good, so we're gonna mask this away. Oh 
Okay, so lastly, for this turret, we want to get rid of this beige color. And that we do simply by using a hue and saturation layer, have it clipped to the turret and bring down the hue, like so. We can also bring a little down the lightness actually, like so. Now we have a Star wars -y Empire turret instead of... If you have a color, then check that one and add the saturation to just that. So under this drop down menu from masters, pick the color that you want and add back that color. And then down here, we're gonna bring away from the yellow because that brings it back to the beige, right? So, okay, so this is the turret before. I mean, it, it's another one, but uh, without, without the textures and here is one with the textures. And I will add more shadows and highlights afterwards based on the rest of the picture. This is just the texturing of the photo bash. So I will do the second turret off camera, but this is pretty much it for the tutorial. I hope this helped you out guys and now you can check in the actual poster after saving. Yeah, so this is how it looks like now without any effects, any lighting, any shadows. Uh, the same lighting and so on that we have on this space station on the rest of this, it will look better. Anyway, thank you for watching this tutorial again. And the tutorial is all officially over, but I will finish this artwork in a time lapse. And I'm Double Art Angel, and I catch you in the next one. Guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And this is just one of the parts of this two part tutorial. So if you guys are interested in watching how I actually bash also characters together, the second part of this tutorial will come out one day after this one. So stay tuned for that one. And may the fort be with you, even though it's not made a fort anymore. Star Wars, anyway. And I hope you guys enjoyed the whole video. I want to thank you all for watching and let's enjoy the rest of this time lapse with this background music. I'm Double Art Angel, I'll catch you in the next one.